And welcome on a big night here at Goodison Park. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Everton up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's how Everton line up. Jordan Pickford stands between the posts. Michael Keane plays alongside Yerimina in central defence. Alan starts alongside Abdoulaye Dukure in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Introducing the Spurs starting 11. Hugo Lloris between the posts. Hyung Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. A potentially riveting 90 minutes in front of us. Tottenham Hotspur with the kickoff. Townsend. Superbly read and executed. And Stuart, there's good reason to believe that Harry Kane's incisive presence could represent the difference today. Well, for me, Derek, his greatest attribute is his ability to combine... Has a go! Well, just centimetres over the bar with that powerful shot. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Son... And Everton regaining possession. Well, that is how to run at defenders. And collected tidily. He had plenty to think about. Kane. Oliver Skip. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. Yeri Mina lost possession Spurs pushing forward with options available and the last touch off the defender so a corner coming up and played short corner again They favoured a short one here. Pulls it back. Takes aim. Well, plenty of power, but just too much height on it. Richarlison. It's with Ducure. Well, attacking possibilities. But ultimately, up a cul-de-sac. <laughs> Lucas. <laughs> and Tottenham struggling to keep the ball. Townsend. It's with Ducure. Alan. 
Ducure. Not showing good patience. But then the one that fails to hit its target. Son. Takes it on. Capable of so much better from that position. Really good high press. Lucas Moura. Defensive excellence there. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, perfect contact, and a brilliant finish. Top stuff. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Dombele. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. So nearing the half-time interval, and it's Everton narrowly behind here. Stuart, interested to get your take as regards their first-half performance. Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations... They... Oh, Stuart, they've got to score! And the keeper, there to deal with it. Short corner it is. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. He goes short. Dyer. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. So the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Well, an influential performance so far from Son, you've got to say. How would you assess what he's put into the game, Stuart? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And the ball moving again. Work to do for Everton in this second half. Calvert-Lewin. Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. Ndombele. Alan, and the counter looks on here, options available. Will they profit from this situation? And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here! Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. So, a level contest. 1-1. Oliver Skip. And a no-nonsense clearance. Well, no problems defensively. And into the last 30 minutes now.
Gray. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Son. Now Son. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Rebier. Robbed them. Alan. Could be a chance to break here. Looks as though they might make real progress on the counter attack. Not so. Rebier. And intercepted it. And Everton unable to retain possession. And Spurs moving the ball with purpose. Son. And he smacks it against the crossbar. Well, I thought that was in, Derek. He struck it so sweetly. Plenty of power. Can't come much closer than that. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Alan. Calvert Lewin. Gray. This looks threatening. And a goal! This is why we adore this game. Late drama. And now they're in front. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Coleman. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Ndombele. Emerson. And they have possession again. Ducure. And now Dominic Carbert Lewin. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Oh, he's through here! Well, he makes the save, and a good thing too. Well, what a save it is. But can they now go and get that equaliser? Spurs to make a personnel switch now. And there's the delivery. Well, I'm sure he would love to have that opportunity back. Son. And now it is final as the referee blows the whistle and Everton get maximum points from this game. What did you make of it? Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. And in the final analysis, a really positive performance from this man, Stuart. Well, he was excellent today, and he gave them that all-important lead. They just struggled to cope with him. His movement was so clever.